Hey guys, this is Johnny. Uh, one of the things that we wanted to do for a long time is start a hacker space here in Uganda. Uh, after five years of doing basic training, we've realized that there's a real need for advanced training, especially for kids. And one of the cool ways that we wanted to do that is by introducing robots and doing robotics courses. Of course, it's difficult, can be difficult to get a program like that started and quite expensive. So one of the things that we uh, initially started out with uh, was a Mindstorms, Lego Mindstorms set. And we found that to be a decent option, although it's pretty expensive and it's relatively advanced. Um, so uh, that's going to be an advanced project. But we found out this really cool little Kickstarter called Meet Edison. And so this little guy is uh, Lego compatible, relatively inexpensive, about $40, has built-in sensors for light. Uh, it also does IR as well as uh, sound detection. It's got some basic buttons. Uh, again, Lego compatible. Little on-off switch on the bottom and then uh, light and IR on the bottom as well. It has an interesting programming interface. Um, it actually can scan these barcodes, which are pre-programmed sort of sequences. So this is the clap detection. So every time you clap, it responds. Um, and it also does line following um, and can detect lines and changes. Uh, so Declan and I sort of put together some laminated papers um, from Robot Square, some tracks. And we laminated them to sort of keep them protected as the kids in the training center are using them over and over. And so we assembled a basic track and scanned in the barcode and it did a really good job right out of the box just following a basic line and so we started assembling uh, more complex lines and tested out the bounce in box program which basically will keep the edison inside a box but of course these things were slipping all over the place so we decided to use some blue tack to kind of keep everything together and see if that improved things and sure enough, it did, a, it did a really good job, again, right out of the box, kind of staying within the boundary. So we decided to take the next step and try out the sumo mode, which is basically um, two or more Edisons having a little battle. And when they sense each other, they'll try to push outside the lines. And so this, this was an absolute blast to watch. This guy is filled with anger. You are a violent little robot. This guy just tried to Oh my goodness, where are you going? Get in there. I feel like we should be betting money. <laughs> where are you going, you violent little creature? So as you can see, uh, Declan loved this, so I knew it was going to be a real hit with the kids. But um, the Edison needed a little bit of help. Uh, we had to rescan the barcodes a couple times. Um, the programming seemed to, to be a little bit off. But in terms of ease of use, it was really pretty slick. So we designed a bigger course um, just with electrical tape to see how it would work in a bigger space. And we found it to be a little bit too big um, for the first go around. So eventually we split it in half and that seemed to be just about the right size on this poster board. So the next steps are gonna be basically to um, design a little course just around this first step of scanning barcodes and you know learning about the reactions of this thing. Um, it also has a programming mode that's similar to Mindstorms that requires a computer. Uh, and we'll explore that a little bit. Um, but right now we're just in the very early stages of turning this into a course. And my initial idea is to do a course at Declan School um, and actually have De Declan be the assistant instructor for that class. And this will give us a chance in kind of a small controlled environment to see how it translates into a course. Um, and also, and it's an opportunity to see how easily it is for you know students to become teachers and to really enjoy this and to have fun with it. So that's Meet Edison, uh, really cool. We have about 10 of these uh, that we bought and I'm looking forward to seeing what's next with this. Um, I'm really excited about a robotics program. Thanks a lot for listening, and I'll see you guys next time.